Chosen was where you, where you, where you. Chosen was back with another powerful and productive video, right? Great. People keep asking me this one question. That why can't I sleep after that breakup? Brother Paul, why can't I sleep? It's like I can't move on. It is hard, right? If this is you, then this video is for you. I'm telling you, this video is going to answer all your question. After that breakup, what happens and the reason why you're going through what you're going through and the way forward, what you got to do to bounce back, to move on in life. So make sure you watch the entire video. Don't try and skip anything. Just watch the entire video because every step everywhere that is going to come is going to bless your life and it's going to help you i'm telling you right great all right great so the number one reason why they left you and you got heartbroken and you couldn't sleep is all because god made them leave you Oh yeah, it is God that removed them from your life. God let them go. Yes. You need to understand that there are no mistakes in this life. There are no mistakes. Things happen for a reason. And one of the main reasons is that God wants them to leave. Because God realized that with them, you're not going to become the person he has destined you to be. Oh yes, that is why that breakup happened. God wants you to spend some time on yourself, to focus on yourself. God wants you to now focus on him and realize that anything you are not born with can leave you at any point in time. Except you yourself and your purpose and what he God has given to you. And he God that is protecting you and guiding you. That is what God wants you to learn. Right? And I tell you, until you realize this and learn from that, any other new relationship you enter, the person will still leave you. You will still get heartbroken several times. That is the bitter truth. I'm telling you. Until you realize this and sit up and focus on yourself and make sure you become the prize. You become who God wants you to be. You will always be the victim. I'm telling you, God doesn't want you to be the victim. He created you to be here to conquer and not to bow for any person because of love. No. So when you are doing that, you are hurting God because God wants his true power to be made manifest in you. God wants you to do great exploit, great things in this life. And not to be wallowing down, bowing down because of one person. God wants you to help multiple people, multitude, several number of people. God has entrusted in your hand. To be blessed so that you be of a blessing so, to so many people. And now you bowing down. And cannot get your head up high. If you don't learn this to focus on your own life. And realize that the only love that will sustain you for the rest of your life. Is the love you have for yourself and the love you have for God. And not the love of a man or a woman. You will still get heartbroken over and over and over again. The cycle is always going to repeat itself. You need to understand that everything is energy. Everything, in other words, is spirit. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed but can be transferred, transmuted from one form to another. That is the same way spirit. Spirit never die. 
So when we're talking of spirit, we're talking of energy. And you need to transmute that energy of breakup, of the trauma, of the pain, of the hurt, into becoming a better version of yourself. And you can do this by building certain hobbies for yourself. One, you need to hit the gym. Use that head to work on yourself, to build some strength and muscle. And you are turning that trauma, that depression, that pain into your highest good. Whatever you are facing, each and every one has faced it. We all go through that. Why is it that some of us, we bounce back? It is because we work on ourselves. We put in the work. We learned our lesson. So create yourself. You see, when someone leaves your life, okay, when someone pulls away from you, when someone rejects you, betray you, choose somebody over you, that should be an unlimited motivation on your part. Use it to grow yourself. Use it as fuel, as catalyst to become your true and authentic self, a better version of yourself. Remember, the best revenge is success. The best revenge is success. If someone leaves you and you are trying to pay the person back, you are a loser. You lose. If someone pull away from you, leave you, transmute that energy into building yourself. Build, your, build knowledge. Remember, a reader today is a leader tomorrow. Read, learn. Learn anything you've come across. Learn everything your mind, your mind tells you to learn. And that is how you grow your knowledge. The book of Proverbs says those who learn and can remember what they learn, they are going to be successful. Because when you learn with time, you'll be filled with so much and you will, learn, you will love or like to touch society with it, to teach others. And that will help you to find yourself. Everything is energy. Build your mindset. Build the rightful mindset. Use the pain, the head, the trauma. To say, oh, let me hold it right there. I'm going to bounce back. I'm going to craft myself. I'm going to ghost myself and grow. Because that person that left you never wants the best for you. That person that left you wants you to be miserable, to fail, so that they will be proud they left you. Nobody that left your life really wants you to be great because it will pain them. Yes. But you failing, living in self-pity, living as a victim, bowing will make them happy, will make them joy, will make them joyous. Refuse to allow that happen and build a rightful mindset. Become creative with something. Become creative. Create something. That is how you level up. Right? So that is the first reason. The second reason is that God wants you to learn that it is not about falling in love, but it is about rising in love. Love shouldn't make you fall. Love must make you to rise. So if love is making you fall, oh, that is getting so much of you. Love is a force to help one to rise. So we use love to rise. How do we rise? We use it to become a better version of ourselves. Because when two people come together, 
they must lift each other's hands up. And you must even go more higher in life because now you know more one, but you two. So if the love is pulling you down, is bringing you down, is not making you grow, is not helping you elevate, is not encouraging you to become your true and authentic self and getting you stuck in life, God is going to remove such people. God is going to let such people live your life so that you learn to rise in love and not to fall in love. Right? That's it. The third reason is to God wants you to cut down your expectation on people and know that people are people. People are fallible. Like people, you know, can change. People are humans. You cannot trust anybody. God wants you to cut down your expectation on people so that you learn to love the right way. And learning to love the right way is loving without expectation. When you love without expectation, you are in true power. Yes, but when you love with expectation, you are giving your emotional control to people. And they control you as a result of that. Because emotionally, you are attached to them. God wants you to detach yourself emotionally because this world we are just passing through and anything can leave you you can lose anything at any point in time so why take it so, so serious the only person you got to take serious in this life is God your relationship with God. That should be the ultimate. That should be the ultimate. And when, when that becomes the ultimate pride for you, I'm telling you, you are on the right course. That's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in my next video.